Greetings everyone and welcome back to another episode of Plan B Success. After years of living by the norms you have acquired, believed in and did not see beyond, have you ever felt mentally chained to such assumptions and beliefs? It's not these assumptions or beliefs that are to be blamed, but you for chaining yourself to them. Don't you think that the responsibility lies with you as to what you will assume and believe? Our world has the potential of limitless ideas and assumptions with so many minds that work in different ways. And there are many that will tell you that their way is the best. But shouldn't that decision be yours and left to your intelligence? As we grow up, we tend to live with the beliefs of our communities and the families we grow up in. Yet, we should be open to question and relate to such beliefs in order to truly want to adhere to them, not because they have been thrust on us. That is the essence of freedom. Yes, rules are important in order to instill discipline and ensure harmony, but one should have the freedom to choose and adhere to a reason they believe in. Acceptance of an idea just because it has been so for years is old school. Everyone has the freedom to question and understand it for what it truly is in their mind. And yes, if convinced of the reasons, no harm in following it. The way we exercise and use our wisdom is through questioning and debate. We should be free to think, express, question, debate and then make up our minds as to the outcomes using our intelligence. Learning is the ultimate gateway to free thinking. When a child asks a question, be open to answering it for them. Don't admonish and kill that spirit of inquisitiveness in them. And when you do not know something, no harm in accepting your ignorance and making an attempt to learn. Isn't that how everyone grows? Free thinking is about seeking answers, not making assumptions, and working toward uncovering beliefs and ideas for what they truly are. That is how we grow these ideas further, extend these beliefs due to their veracity, and discover new potential in our way of life. So what holds us back from being free thinkers? The fear of being wrong. And why fear when you are out to seek what you do not know? Progress and growth are dependent on the answers you seek and will find. Else we continue to live in the darkness of our own ignorance. And it's also true that until the next phase of growth happens, we continue to live in our current beliefs, which may seem true at the moment, but perhaps are hiding something we do not know. So how do we ensure we live with what we know at a point in time? By finding value in them but continuing to push the envelope by questioning further to unravel more truth and applicability as time fleets by. Seek wisdom, then glory, and you shall continue on the path of free thinking. Grow smarter with experience, and be open to making mistakes along the path without fear. Know that you can learn and grow, and your moment will be swift. How do we validate that our ideas and beliefs are right? Most of the time, this comes through conformity. We tend to reaffirm our own beliefs if someone else agrees with them. I would say, rather appeal to your own common sense and make a decision based on that. There may be a lot more unlearning we need to do before we start thinking freely and learning from it. It's said that one should surround themselves with a network of like-minded people to flourish. I think that only allows for a set of common beliefs, right or wrong, to be propagated. The right way to maintain a balance would be to seek out diverse views, which makes it possible to debate and discuss, and further reveal the actual truths that you can apply your common sense to. There's also a need to spend time with self, thinking and evaluating. Introspection can unravel mysteries you could have lost in crowds and noise. New perspectives will reveal themselves to you through deep thought. Meditation does this for you. This is where you meet your inner voice and have a conversation. Of course, you still have the freedom to listen to it or ignore it altogether. 
that is the essence of finding you and being you in a crowded world. Hey, I hope you liked that episode. Please do check out Plan B Success Podcast on your favorite listening platforms. It's also available on www.planb.live. Thank you very much.